wine shipped straight to your door. It's a concept that has taken off since the pandemic. A Denver based wine company says this method increased their business tenfold. I talked to the president of seven sellers about their success and how they're raising the bar yet again, bringing you at home food pairings from a renowned Denver chef. A Cabernet at your convenience. John Elway's premium wine company turned an obstacle into an opportunity. Our e-commerce at one point in time was about 1% of our business. Uh, during the pandemic, it's grown to more than uh, 50 to 60% of our business at certain times and overall has grown over 300% during the pandemic. Dan Foster is the president and managing partner at Seven Cellars. When the world uh, pulled the emergency break, we had to immediately pivot. They now offer coast to coast shipping to 43 states and you can find them around town too. From delivery to their doorstep to by the glass at a place like this, Neighbors in Park Hill. So what goes best with wine? Food, of course. Goose Sorensen is the executive chef for Seven Cellars. The chefs these days are doing online recipes. They're so involved. And I think people, since they've been home for almost a year, they want to do something that's not horribly involved that they can do on a Friday night for their kids. And you may remember him from another local restaurant. Uh, Solero was a East Colfax uh, institution for 17 years. He's taking your taste buds back in time. One of my uh, famous dishes at Solero I did for 17 years was a Thai style calamari. So I went ahead and just took the basic ingredients of that and shifted it into chicken wings. And that pairs with the Chardonnay. All right, now we want to move on to the albondigas. Mm -hmm. Talk so to me about this. Albondigas have got a lot of smoked paprika in it. It's one of my favorite Spanish dishes. Very easy to make. It's kind of like one of those grandma dishes. Um, and it's got a little bit of cinnamon in it, um, lots of cumin. And so those spices to me just kind of Pinot Noir, uh, they just marry so well together. Um, Sip on your full bodied red with this dish. And I love calling a lamb. So I went ahead and did a bone in lamb shoulder uh, with black eyed peas uh, and rapini to pair with the Cabernet. The coolest part, you can access those recipes right from the back of the bottle. Just scan the QR code. Here's to that, guys. <laughs> And again, you can find Seven Cellars wine at many local restaurants around town and liquor stores as well. They're also offering virtual wine tastings, which is pretty cool. The next one is April 22nd. You can get all that information on their website, sevencellars.com. And Natasha, such a fun story. And what I love is that those dishes for you and I that aren't like renowned chefs, we can make them at home. They kind of dumbed it down for us. I love that. <laughs> you know, I need all the dumbing down when it comes to food because I'm not that great at cooking, but I also of the fact that it's like a one-stop shop too it tells yes. you what you can pair it with because I imagine that's got to be really tough too, knowing um, the exact spices and how it's going to taste with the wine so exactly love that also, yeah good to see that some businesses thrived it know, really is we need some positivity throughout this yeah. pandemic right yeah, absolutely Erica thank you <laughs>